What's up guys? What's going on? In this video series, we're gonna show you how to get the VersaCut CNC plasma table from Eastwood for free. Free? Free, 99. Yeah, okay. I know it sounds a little pitchy, but we are gonna show you how to get it for free. A you <laughs> Just a little bit. <laughs> um, so you're gonna learn in this video series how to use the table to pay for the table. So essentially we're taking on the approach of a side hustle. You're gonna use a table, you're gonna create products with that table and then pay that table off or pay it back if you took a loan and that table then is going to make you money every time you turn it on. So in this video, we're gonna dive into that. But first, let's show you when we got it, unboxed it and put it together. Cool. It was interesting. It was, it was indeed. So when it came to picking up the CNC machine, Eastwood had it in stock and they're not far from the house. So we just drove up and uh, about an hour and a half drive and they got it loaded up uh, put it in the truck really easy for us with one of their cranes and uh, we picked up all the extra stuff we even went to the store and picked up the cutting fluid some other tools that we wanted to get while we were in town uh, they had a four by eight table there that is a prototype that they're getting ready to release that was really cool um, once we got it back to the house uh, we broke the case open uh, this thing is very heavy so definitely needed some help uh, loading it in and out but uh, the instructions are really good. The table just bolts together. It's a square, so um, you figure out which direction you want it to point and build everything from that direction. So we knew we wanted the control panel on the right side, away from the door. Um, so everything went together pretty easy once we figured that location out. Um, all the hardware included is really good. The table goes together with a nice gasket so it doesn't leak. Um, all the center rails all click in very nice. So. All right, guys, now that you've seen it all kind of go together, um, we're going to kind of cut back and forth into assembling it and talk about all the pieces. Um, it comes with everything you need to be able to put it together and start cutting stuff right out of the box. Uh, it even has an entire library of shapes and files on the machine already, so you can get a successful cut right away. Um, I've never ran a CNC plasma table before, and there is a learning curve. There is very much a steep learning curve up front. Once you get your first cut under your belt, it flattens out and you are now a cutter. So uh, making more sense. Yeah, it makes more sense once you learn the settings and get the dialed in just right for your material size. Um, if you see behind us, we got a ton of different materials um, to try different thicknesses just to see what would cut the best. Um, one of my favorite things is that it has a USB drive right on the front. You can plug in and put your own files on it pretty quickly and then adjust those file sizes inside this machine with uh, scale, rotation, orientation. You can even nest them, tell them how many wide, how many tall, and you can do a sheet of the same file type, which is really good, especially if you're doing any kind of a production run. Um, which you will be doing if you're trying to make money. Yeah, if you're trying to make money, that is the, the quickest way to do it. Um, Take the time to really figure out where you want this mounted, because once this is mounted, um, you're pretty much fixed in that location. We wanted the control board away from the wall on this corner so that we could walk up to it and monitor it as it was cutting. Um, and we wanted space for some material to go on the back wall and have this door where we can open it and let some of the smoke and sparks go out if we need to. Um, we went ahead and bought the cutting fluid from Eastwood so we filled this bath up, uh, this tub up with the cutting fluid and it cuts down, I'd say a good 80% of the sparks and the smoke that comes out of this machine. Uh, I noticed a huge difference once it got a little bit lower as the water evaporated, that the smoke and sparks were a little more uh, prevalent. So I filled it back up with some water, topped it off, and it all went back to suitable for the room. So uh, we don't have the best ventilation in here, so that's really important because we are in a home garage. Uh, one of the things you definitely want to keep an eye on is consumables. I think, if I remember correctly, it only comes with one set. Yes. Brand new. Um, I would, I would recommend grabbing, grab a couple sets of the consumables. I think when you buy the machine, because you're going to burn through them. Yeah, you go through them quickly, and once you start pulling your hair out, thinking you've messed something up in the settings, and it's the consumable wearing down, causing it yeah. <laughs> to fit fail your cuts. And there's a learning curve on that too. Of if your settings aren't exactly where they need to be, you'll burn through them pretty quick. 
Yes. So. Yeah, because you'll I, I, there were numerous times where we ran into the material as we were learning how to set up the proper height. Now this has auto height adjustment, but as you're cutting thinner material, it's gonna pucker and it's gonna pop. And sometimes the arc is not adjusting high enough because your initial settings are too low. So you could have the arc adjustment wrong and it just won't have enough leverage to compensate that height difference. Uh, so that's really important because like Andy said, that will chew your consumables up like no tomorrow. So as we said in the beginning, we're gonna be going over in this series, different products that sell, things that you can make with this machine in your part-time off hours that are gonna turn into a side hustle that you can make some money with. Probably isn't gonna be enough to pay off your house, but <laughs> it could help with the bills or maybe help you get that tool that you always wanted. Or pay for the machine. And pay for the machine on top of everything. So, I mean, that's the whole goal of this is get this thing paid off, get it for free so you can then make some money. Um, the products we're going to focus on, there's so many, but the ones we're going to focus on throughout this video series are going to be custom signage, storefronts, homes, houses, uh, any kind of uh, sign that you can hang up outside of a storefront, uh, house numbers, mailboxes, things like this. Those are signage that you can make quickly, easily, even find files online that you don't even have to spend any time designing and yeah. cut. A lot of possibilities. A lot of possibilities, a lot of profit margins, and it's very easy to do. Um, on top of that, we have custom automotive parts, brackets, clips, retainers. Um, if you can get into some of the heavier gauge with this, you can do um, different types of hangers or tool uh, hangers, things That's like this, one. to organize things in the shop. Um, and this comes preloaded with a lot of those tabs and brackets already on it that you can program the sizes yeah, on just a lot of basic triangle brackets and all sorts of stuff it's pretty cool yeah yeah all kinds of flange brackets like it's it's neat we will show that yeah we're going to show <laughs> that in the next video but um one of the other things you can do is home decor uh things around the house you know you see a lot of these things on etsy and amazon marketplace where they have like the initial of someone's name or last name with filigree around it and Christmas trees around it or any of these things, those sell like crazy. And Did you just say filigree? Filigree, yeah. Wow. Yeah, it's a, it's a fancy design word. Ooh. All right. It's a, it's a two penny <laughs> word. <laughs> Should I, I start? i wallet out for that one. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, you can put intricate designs around a monogram right. and you can sell it for upwards around $100. So. We'll show you some of those. We'll show you some home decor things, but also there's another thing which is producing products for niche markets. Um, that could be anything from bottle openers and Christmas ornaments. There's a F-bomb bottle opener that we cut. <laughs> and um, another niche market, which I'm familiar with because my dad makes knives, is the knife market. Knife blanks are one of those things that are kind of an untapped market. There's only a few people making knife blanks like these. And all it is is a piece of plate steel that's cut into a design. This is one that we drew and cut. And you send these to knife makers or enthusiasts and they can then put a handle on it. They can put a beveled edge and they can harden the steel to be a usable knife. And again, people sell these in packs of 20 and make really good profit margins because the plate steel is not costing you that much. So we're gonna go over all of these things in the future videos, but the goal of this is to show you how to pay the machine off as fast as possible so that you can make profit with the machine. And it's not a tool that's just sitting in the corner gathering dust, it's actively making you money. So um, sit down, click next, and let's get into it. Ha, 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 ha.